Hello again, everyone. It is the Black Knight, and when I created this character, named Rusty Jack, I had kind of a vision for him, a certain style that, uh, that I thought would work with this character. And some of the vehicles that go along with that style, that, that I really, from day one, envisioned that he would have, are now on sale because it is the Sunday before Memorial Day. And Rockstar is uh, is doing some things that really kind of work for me here. And since we are now at, let's see, how much have we made? Just about $4.1 million. Um, we can afford some of these things. So let's, let's have at this, why don't we? Okay, the first vehicle that really is absolutely critical, I think, to his style is the Declassy Tornado Rat Rod. Now, this is by no means a great car as far as performance is concerned. It performs exactly like another, any other tornado. Or tornado. Depends on what, let's say tornado. That sounds, the classic tornado. Why they did this, why they put a big engine in it and took the whole front end off and it runs exactly the same as big tires. It runs exactly the same as every other tornado. I have no idea. The only thing I can think of is maybe it's overheating all the time because there's no radiator. You need a radiator. That's still a water-cooled engine. Rockstar. I, it looks cool, I like it, but it makes no sense. I mean, unless we want to imagine there's a radiator back in here, and I don't even know. Um, Color-wise, color -wise, I think we're going to have to change up the color here. We're going to order it. I mean, I'll, I'll order it in orange, you know, just to, to show it to you, because everything, I, you know, orange is kind of just another theme with, uh, with Rusty Jack, because of the whole Rusty thing. We're gonna put that in garage three and call it up with the uh, with the mechanic. So let's do the time warp again. Okay. See now here it is in orange, and I mean that doesn't look bad, but I mean it doesn't look. Like, I guess you'd have to imagine it was repainted orange sometime in the '60s. That could work. I do want to ponder some other colors though. Definitely not quick. It's not too bad as far as just driving around, though. I mean, it's not, I mean, it's not a surfer. We'll see how it goes when it's all turboed up. The color's starting to grow on me a little bit. I mean, I pick orange. There, there's a reason I use orange. I mean, there's a little inside secret kind of thing for me. Um, I was reading the, the Scott Adams blog. That's the guy who writes Dilbert. And he had done a lot. He mentioned several times in his blog that... What miracle did you want me to perform? That he's done A-B testing on the effectiveness of links and th different things like that. And orange was the, uh, the color that people interacted with most. So if you're going to be making videos and making thumbnails orange kind of works. I'm sure there's some subliminal Ruffy 1322 things as well, but I'm not trying to rip off Ruffy. I just, for the longest time, I thought because he's Rusty Jack, the brightest color that will go along with Rust, and obviously works with Scott Adams' whole thing, is orange, so that's where I had gone with the uh, be running orange. better than ever. <laughs> Gleaned up the tires, I think, is all we got there. Now, the respray, number one. Primary color, matte. Let's look. Black, black doesn't look bad. It's, it's kind of that whole two-lane black top kind of thing. Gray primer, basically light gray. That's not bad. White, white doesn't look. You know, that could be. I actually have up on my phone here a, a, a list of the original '57 uh, Chevy colors here, and we're just, just going through them. Purple wouldn't have been one of them. Certainly not that. Red, red's a classic repaint color. Almost all of them were. That orange is what. If I want to go with a matte orange, matte orange kind of looks. That might work better. It's Fourteen thousand, but still. Yellow, yellow would have been a real '57 Chevy color. Believe it or not. Lime green, not much so, but that does kind of. It is attractive. That green, let's see, would, that, would forest green have worked? Kind of more of a turquoise. 
That actually, you know, that, that that green there actually might be that might be an original '57 Chevy color. That might be close. Olive drab that works too. Kind of gives it kind of an army look. That is attractive. Ooh, now dark earth that actually that works as well. And that really does fit the aesthetic. I'll have to ponder that one. Desert Tan, that's another one that really does work. I'm going to end up leaving it orange, aren't I? That, that'll be bad. Okay, so, do we want to go with something more earthy? Something that kind of looks better. More realistic. Something like it was an original paint job from 1957. Man, that green looks good, too. I mean, there's some, if you go over to the metallic, like gasoline green. Ooh, sienna brown, that's, that, that's attractive. You get more colors out of the, uh, like nautical blue, that, that works. Where's gas green? Galaxy blue. There it is. Gasoline green. But it's so shiny there, you know? And shiny. And that's great, you know, and for, uh, you know, stuff with Firefly. But, I mean, we're we're trying to come up with a, a true wrap look here. Totally torn. I mean, some of these down the bottom... That looks really good as far as a realistic representation of the rat rod. Uh, I mean, army green looks good. That's his idiom. I mean, orange. The, the matte orange doesn't look bad. That looks pretty good too. And it does meet all those requirements as far as if you're going to have you're going to grab people's attention making videos. Yeah. Will I get exhausted of looking at orange, though? I think I to look at this all the time. I'm cruising around in there. I mean, look at a lot of orange. You know... I'm very story driven and the idea that this olive drab car might have been you know an army staff car or something like that found out in the desert in area 51 or something along those lines that's really attractive let's do that let's make it olive drab for change of pace now what else can we do to this thing hood there's well, there is no hood stock you got the a rusty blower the only reason I don't use the, the, the triple bug catchers or the, you know, the bug catchers don't open. If those, if those butterflies opened on them, then I'd be there. I mean, that looks good. And again, looking, the rusty look does look good. That's very, but I, I do like the stock kind of intakes that it has more of the rat log, rat log, rat rod culture to it, you know? It's, what other kind of... Well, let's, let's do the standards, I guess. Armor. I don't know if I want to spend all that on armor and everything else like that for right now. But we do want to make it go a little faster. Just looking at it, it gives me a hard on. Exhaust. Custom rat exhaust. Do we want to go with that? Well, first of all, whenever you open the door, it's going to hit them. Right? close to it. Which do we which, which has the better aesthetic? I mean that's stylish. Kinda gives me the feeling though that's being attacked by one of those, you know, head humpers from uh, Fallout, you know, not Fallout from uh, Half Life. Uh, head humpers from Half Life. I tell you, I think just for that reason I don't like it. <laughs> just from my Half Life experience. I think we could go really classic with this. 
explosives. We don't want to blow it up. Transmission. This, wow, the upgrades on this are so expensive. Turbo. Fine. Wheels. Wheels, we got a leaf stock. Windows, we got a leaf stock. There's, there's, there's no suspension change to it. Interesting. So now it's it's not durable. Oh, fine. Let's just do it. Let's just spend the money. It's now fully tricked out. Okay, we, there we have it. It is now is what it is. And it took me so long. Boss? Yeah, I know. It's your EA. Look, I really think you should check out this vehicle cargo opportunity and the Secure Serve Network here at the office. You'll thank me. Look, I'm, I'm doing that already with my other character. We're not doing that. So it's, now it's dark. Well, let's see, how does this thing work? That's not too bad. I mean, I probably wouldn't want to try to race this against, you know, a Turismo. But, you know, when we get our Cheberek, now that'll be interesting. We're going to have to do some some uh, Rat Rod versus Cheberek races and see which one of those comes out on top. Or we'll just wait and see when Ruffy does his stuff, you know. Then again, it, there is a matter of driving style. You know, which one will work better for me, the Cheberek or the, the Rat Rod? You turn, I was going around you and you turned into me. That's just fun. I like it. This is this is not a disappointment. And the whole backstory now that it was once an army car. I don't even mind the fact that it's not in the orange motif. Yeah, beep 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 beep. It's all right. Let's now next car, up. the next vehicle of, of note. And this this will disappear shortly. So let's let's get one more look at it here. Maybe we need to take a picture here. Alright. Looking good. Safe to gallery. Now. Come on, let's get out. Save the gallery. You still need the phone. The next vehicle of note, and it's one of those things that I don't even know if it's always available. But this is, you know, a patriotic weekend kind of thing. Come on. There it is. For only 90,000, the Western Sovereign. And this one, of course, we're going to put right in the clubhouse. And while that one, we're waiting on that one, we can, we can do another thing. Because we're going to have to drive something to get to this other thing. This is where the real expense comes in. Money and so let's see. Let's go to... War stock, cash and carry. Again, I don't know if this is always available. No, we're not buying the tank. It's just not this character. This character has no need read for them. Hang, 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 hang. This character has no need for a tank. He's a racer. He's a lover, not a fighter. Eventually, we'll probably get a tank. And he doesn't need a ruiner. We can't. We don't even have a place to put a ruiner unless we get the the garages. And do we really want to do special vehicles? No, probably not from here. Where is there it is the liberator part of the whole it's on sale that's a good deal that's a good two hundred thousand savings no upgrades because it's a Pegasus vehicle so we won't have to you know invest anything else in it we just have to get it buy it now it'll be available from Pegasus shortly how can I mean look here how can this character this this cowboy hat I accidentally pulled up the rifle, but that does work. How this cowboy hat, western motorcycle kind of guy not have a monster truck? We, we, we actually, he does have a monster truck. He has a Marshall. And the Marshall does work very well with him. There's no question about it. But, you gotta, gotta, gotta have a Liberator and a, you know, a van based monster truck. How can you not have one of each type of monster truck? It's just, it's just how it should be. How long does it take to get a vehicle in gear? Let's, let's go and we'll go watch it materialize. Go we'll stare at it. Hey there. 
Oh, Peewee-o. It's been... We didn't get to see it up here, but we'll get to see it here. Do 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 all right. Murka, this is cool. I say that with love in my heart. I'm not that's not at all a point of negativity here. We're let's wheel this puppy around. You gotta love this bike. It's it's just such a nice cruiser. Let's go fix it up. Cause I may do some stunting with this. Where are you supposed to be going? This way. Whee! Okay, and the Liberator's available. We'll check that out in a couple minutes here. Okay, armor on a bike. If you've hit anything with a bike, you're probably dead. Brakes. At least the, yeah, at least the upgrades are cheaper on this, this puppy. That's more reasonable. I, you know. Horn. Okay, wait a minute. Do we have anything... Cop horn, since it's probably a former police bike. Yeah, I'm all about the story. Lights. You can't put the. Uh, you can't put low rider lights on this. All right, well, that's just too bad. Plate sound transmission. All right, let's race it up. Turbo. Oh, she'll hit warp speed now. Wheels. Do we want to go? That's pretty perfect. I mean, that's armor. No, I'm not gonna. We're not gonna armor it. It's a motorcycle. Oh, you know what we should do though? Tires, tire enhancements, bulletproof tires. Yeah, you mean business. We should put bulletproofs on the other one too, but it'll be interesting to see those blow up if I'm. Uh, I'm just spinning them. All right, so now we've got this bike pretty well revved up. Let's call up Pegasus. Pegasus Lifestyle Management, how can I help you? Great, so it's available for pickup at our nearest location, sir. Where is the nearest location? Well, that's actually not too bad. Well, we could probably cross country. Can we? Just go completely cross country. Except there's fences. And things in the way. And whoa, hey, whoa, whoa, we, we, it's the sovereign wing. I'm not sure I should have been able to do that. This is their location. Really? Seriously? Well, it's not too bad as far as being far away from the. Uh, From the clubhouse. Oh, check this out. Okay, let's look away. We need a selfie. Da 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 with the moonlight. Oh, that is so cool. Save it to the gallery. I take a straight up picture with them. Let's Go. So much America. Put the phone away. Let's drive this puppy around a little bit. Love that four wheel steering. Crashing through things. 
What is happening? What is happening? America. Oh, this is too perfect. Look at this. <laughs> it's it's a line of cars to drive over. Okay, let's get from the right. Might be a little tough on the on the rebel here. That's a little bit tall. Come on. Oh, there we go. Oh yeah, that's classic four by four action. Oh, oh, he's just just stomping these cars. Oh, he's stomping them. Yeah, they're not crushing as much as they would in real life. So that's you're losing a little bit of something. Let's see if we hit them in high speed. Can we launch it? Over your vendor. And high speed's a relative thing when you got something this big, but. Let's hit this. Car. Oh, it didn't really launch as much in the air as I hope. But I'm not disappointed. I mean, wow, oh, there you go. That's the kind of thing. Oh, wait a minute. Is that an actual stunt? That could be an actual stunt. Can we do actual stunts with these? We don't want to grab the bike and come back here. I'm convinced that's an actual stunt. Where's the bike? The guard seems blissfully unconcerned. What I'm doing it probably happens all the time. People show up here in Liberators, but Sovereign. Let's see here now. Let's find that jump. There it is. We have to take it around the curve here a little bit. Get some speed, but we put the turbos to it, so. There's, there's lots of turbo motorcycles. That's not like a stunt jump you completed here. How did they not have that? I mean, I couldn't hit it any harder. Like, I'm not going fast enough, right? That should be a stunt going back. Let's try it. We'll try and get a little bit more speed. Oh, wait a minute. These are not official stunts that you can do. I mean, really, rock star. I realize this is something of a trap. But, uh, yeah. but that, that should. Be. All right, where's my liberator? Back to the Liberator. We, we gave it a shot. You see, the bike handles nice. It's a very nice handling bike. Woo! Ooh, here we are. Now with the, the sun coming up. Slightly different position here. No, we don't, need, we don't need that. We need this. Oh, this. oh, that's just too perfect. So much America. Save the gallery. And let's uh, exit out. Turn around. Snapmatic. Selfie. That's definitely selfie mode city. There you go. Oh, that's just total selfiness. Safe to gallery. And there you have it, folks. Now, let's see. How much money have we blown? We're down to 2.9. Okay, so that's basically $1.2 million spent. Just like that. But we still have the whole uh, weekend going on here with, you know, all kinds of money to be made and MC missions and... CEO VIP kind of 
stuff, so we'll we'll make that back. We'll we'll probably make that back. We'll see if we can make that back. That'll be the goal. And on this note, folks, this is your Black Knight. Have a great night. I was gonna drive the bike back, but I just just can't leave this car here. Unmolested. Oh there you go. Uh, <laughs> it's still there. Guys, I'm crushing your boss's car, you don't even care. Maybe it's his car. There you go! It's too perfect. That. Now, there, there, here we need some pictures. That's, that's picture worthy. Save that to gallery. Look away. Sophie! I do a selfie. 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 Too bad you can't have him like smile in the selfie. Yeah, we have to do something with that. I wonder how long you can just leave that there before the car will just explode. It's definitely not like it. Yeah. Can't wait for exploding cars.